Hi, I'm Mark Camosio and I'm here at Pete's Airgun Farm to show you one of the gun power range of air rifles. Um, these are pneumatics and um, they're made in the UK um, but they do have a, an arrangement with um, uh, having these built also in the States to far, far higher power limits than ours. As you can see you've got a, quite a sizable buddy bottle here and um, so that gives you quite a big air supply for um, it should be quite a large number of shots. Um, you've got a this basically is the shadow model and it was designed for the American market um, whereas the stealth um, chassis would probably end around here um, this, this um, shadow model has an integral silencer in that unit there so it's fairly quiet anyway um, I'll just give you a demonstration just cop the mechanism So we, we mainly here, it's, it does resonate in here. Um, you've got an integral silencer on the um, body end, and then you can have an additional silencer that will just screw into the end. There. That will just screw on. So that's um, an optional extra, basically. Um, you've got the normal configuration of gun power, so you cock the um, lever, bring that forward. <coughs> And most of their rifles follow this pattern and then you've got direct feed there into the breech um, with the pellet just pull that back and the cover knob just goes either side and then that should lock in place um, you've got a small safety catch there push that forwards and then you're away there we are um, it, this is partic a particularly quiet model, but as I say, because we're indoors here, it, um, everything sounds a bit noisy today. You've got a um, synthetic forend section there, um, which is fixed to the um, forend, and that's all sort of rubber coated, uh, rubber feel to it, and that's, uh, that's quite nice. Then you've got your drop down target grip, again it's this sort of, it is synthetic material, but it's sort of rubbery feel to it, and it's, um, it's all quite nicely moulded, so it feels pretty good. Um, now with these, you, to charge the system, you've got a, um, as I say, buddy bottle here. What we do to um, charge it, pop the action, like so, and then the whole body assembly just unscrews. That comes away, and uh, <coughs> then you would link that to your driver's bottle for your air supply and charge these to 200 bar um, because you can actually do that obviously you've got so if I take that silencer off you can see how short the action is um, so you could stow this away in a um, very short compact bag and that means obviously you could, if you need to go to the premises for hunting purposes but you want to be quite low profile um, then this is uh, a quite a good takedown model to do just that um, on the butt here, you've got a, a rubber shroud there, so that acts as the cheap piece. And you can see the butt assembly here, um, and with that collar there, you can just adjust that. And that gap there is basically you move your, um, your adjustment, so you can alter the length of pull and um, play around with the height of the butt strap as well there. Um, so all in all, it's quite um, a versatile, adaptable rifle. On these, you've got a very high raised um, sight rail and um, that's your dovetails on the top there so you've got per plenty of um, flexibility and again here you've got um, dovetail rails that actually run the full length of the fore end as well um, and on the bottom there. so you've got the option there fitting torches and lasers etc um, if you want to go hunting with it um, these at the moment come in um, the uh, 560 580 mark and um, it's, it's quite an impressive PCP setup. So that's the gunpowder shadow.